Hey, Micro Redox here, and we're back for episode 3. There is a baby zombie. I have no idea how he got there. He was not there before. Uh, rotten meat, rotten meat. I don't care for this. We'll put that down, put that there. And then we get his bolt of them. Alright. So, as you can see, I didn't do anything. I started off striping before. Because, I know, that's, uh huge preference for watching someone play Minecraft. You don't want to be watching a video by Captain Sparkles and you know he's got this he's got like his empty chest and then like the episode after he suddenly has like 50 diamond and it's like well what? What happened? I didn't, I didn't see you do that. Did you cheat? So <coughs> that sh we have to wait for this to farm. We have to grow. So in the meantime, let's clear this area out some more, a lot more, because it's a little bit crowded. It's actually a lot of bit crowded. I don't want to be that crowded. Um, thankfully, there is no special stipulation where this isn't like an island or a uh, or oh oh god no go away we don't I don't love you. Maybe like I was saying, this isn't like a floating island in the sky, so we can just drop some fence somewhere. We can just have some have a nice little animal farm going. We don't have to build out 25 blocks away or anything. Nothing crazy. Because th that's what I've been doing lately in Minecraft. I've been playing special maps like Skyblock and middle of nowhere ocean islands. So, it would be nice to be able to just drop some wooden planks, or drop <laughs> some fences, and uh, make that a nice little animal farm with little to no labor. Uh, that's dirt. So, what should we do with this dirt? I'll put it in the chest for now. Until I find a actual good use for it. Um... Wow. Let's start making that animal farm. Where'd my fence go? Oh, I didn't actually make the fence. I just walked away with the sticks. Oh boy. This is going to be quite the series. I'll tell you that. Fences. Okay. I want to give these animals some actual like breathing room so I'm gonna need more fences because if what I have it's not gonna cut it wish I had some lava I could get rid of those pieces of rotten flesh for good damn I have use for dirt, I can make this pond a little bit smaller. Or I could make it bigger. I'll make it this much bigger. Or maybe this much bigger. There we go. Now it would be nice and even, and I broke the shovel without even realizing it was almost destroyed. Thankfully, I had some leftover sticks to make another one. So, yes, a dirt shovel, that's what I want to do. Birchwood planks. So here's our wooden shovel, and we shall continue digging and expanding this little pond. Okay, need to grow some bamboo now. All right, not really though. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think it must have to be right here. So let's just go ahead and pick this up because I know I'm gonna pick it up eventually anyway. So. right there? Uh, I feel like I should do it more over here. Oh! Oh! We do have enough! Oh, whoops. See if it's what's here, and then I go make a fence gate real quick, and we're all good. Surprised that actually ended up working out for me. And then I get a couple sticks. 
Okay, France 4, France 4. Euh, bon. And there's our gate. I could have sworn it made two fence gates. Yeah, whatever. Oh, look at that. And then we can fill these up. Uh, well, we only need to fill these up anyway because stuff can't get over. But, mm, stuff can't get over if they jump over this. So there's flaw number one. This needs to hurry up and grow. Or at the very least, give me a skeleton to kill. I know I saw one over here earlier. I'm sure it's wandered off far, far by now. Like pig. You get to live, pig, because I have plenty of pork. Which reminds me, I need to eat. In both worlds. Steve needs to eat, and I myself need to eat. I am really hungry. I just thought of that. Thank you, Minecraft, for reminding me that I need to actually take care of my real self, and not just my character. So, let's go ahead and eat this. Hey, stop, don't go in there. There we go. Okay, let's eat two, two of these. I think I only needed two. Nice, okay. Let's put these in there, in case I die. Wait, what? Oh, that's the crafting table. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know I'll put that off to the side. That way, when I get a lava trash can, I can get rid of it. Because this does not grow fast enough. This is getting in the way. I'm going to take this down. Okay, I need to think of more stuff to do. Because before I can continue with my ammo farm going on over here, I need wheat. But before I can get wheat, I have to wait for it to grow. And there's no skeletons in the area. So I'm going to have to wait for all the spawn. And for those of you who don't know, the reason why I want skeletons to spawn so badly is because I can use their bones to make a bone meal, and bone meal is fertilizer for crops, as well as trees. Um, so while I'm waiting for stuff to grow, um, crops and the night, both of those things need to grow pretty fast here. Um, I guess I should protect this more, right? Yeah? I think so. So I know I'm not going to want a zombie to just come in here and eat all of my stuff. Because I need to eat all that stuff. The pigs need to be eaten. Uh, this should be fine, right? Yeah, this will stop them. Just gotta put a roof over their head. And they'll be all fine. There will be no creatures eating my pigs. Or my cows. Or sheep or chickens. Hopefully there's more than just pigs in this area. Because I do not feel like traveling 50 blocks. No, 50 blocks, that's not that bad. I do not feel like travel... I do not... Ugh, I can't even speak. I do not feel like traveling a thousand blocks in a direction just so I can get a different form of livestock. But it looks like that might be exactly what I have to do. Because all that's here are pigs! Look, there's another pig! Is that... Is that all that spawned, like, in this entire... No, oh, that's a really tall grass. Anyway, is that all that spawned in this the seed? Is it, like, pigs and trees? I'm officially declaring that the only thing that's in this seed are pigs and trees. And water. Oh, this is a pretty cool spot. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. this looks promising. Whoa. Looks like we're going to have to uh, explore. This could lead to a number of things. Probably shouldn't have broken that block right there. Oh, wait, what? Or maybe it wasn't that big of a game changer? All right, well, anyway, I didn't I'm really straying off here. I think I left my door just open. Oh, well. Pigs want to go in there, it's fine. As long as they go in the pig pen. Because I have no way to 
lead a pig to anything because I don't have wheat. Because it takes forever to grow. Look at you pigs. You're so lucky to live right now. I could slay all of you right now, but I'm being nice. And you're all going to die eventually, I'm sure, but, you know, whatever. As long as the pig farm works out, I will never have to adventure 500 blocks in a direction for food. Because, you know, reproduction is a thing. Alright, well, it's getting to be around that time where we're about to end the episode. I know we didn't do much. I mean, you know, we created this thing. We expanded the pond. So, we did something this episode. Kind of sucked us so short, but YouTube sucks and it takes forever to upload everything. So, I'm about to end it right here, guys. Uh, I'll probably record episodes four, maybe five tomorrow, because, like I said, I still have another map that I want to record today. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed watching episode three of my Minecraft survival series. Um, and until next time, I am Micro Redox, and I'm out.